The next thing comes is the internal energy as a state function. Let us first understand what exactly is the internal energy is. See internal energy is, is the substance own energy. It is the energy which is being possessed by any substance at a particular temperature. See uh, we need to realize that every substance is having certain amount of energy associated with it. We cannot find out the value, absolute value of that energy because we cannot find out, we cannot sum up all those sort of different energies with which that particular substance will be having. Usually we, we represent this internal energy by a symbol U and you need to know this that this U is a symbol of kinetic energy, potential energy, bond energies, nuclear energy and electronic energy. And you cannot find out the values of these five different energies at, a, at, at the same time. So we cannot find out absolute value of the U. So what does it mean is we cannot find out the energy associated with any particular substance. So, so that means this is what is the meaning is we cannot find out internal energy of any particular system. But then how we will do the quantitative analysis? Yes, we can do it. How? Though we know that we cannot find out its absolute value whatever the energy that particular system is having to which with which we are going to do a, a thermodynamic process but we need to know that we know this that whenever we, we will do certain change we can find out that how much change has been brought and that change will be called the internal energy change so whenever we do certain things whenever we, we do certain work whenever this heat is given out or being absorbed we know that certain amount of work will be done or amount of energy if it is absorbed or released and from that amount we can find out how much of the change in the internal energy of that substance has taken place. So th that is how we can find out, the, we can go into the quantitative study of that particular system. So what we need to know is that yes we cannot find out absolute value but we can find out the change in its value which is called internal energy change. Now the question comes is how we bring about the change in the internal energy. The inter this internal energy change is brought, see there are mainly are three ways. Whenever why work is done by doing work we can bring about a change in the internal energy or by heat, by when the heat is given or is being heat is being taken out heat ex by heat exchange the uh, uh, the internal energy can be changed or the mat matter exchange is, is, is being done or exchange of the matter is being is going on or takes place we find that the change in the internal energy is done it takes place so these are the three possible ways with which what we find is internal energy changes